Hi guys. Two o'clock, Tuesday afternoon. And aside from going to an appointment this morning, I've done absolutely fuck all. Well, that's not strictly true. I mean, I have uh, breathed life into this advent, although it still doesn't like getting hot for some reason. Um, it's only got a gigabyte of memory in it. I'm going to have to Google the specs and see what it can handle, but no matter what combination I put in over there, it does not want to play ball. Um, so yes, that disc I found last night, I think I showed up on the video, um, that is the 32-bit version, so I can make a copy of that disc as well, because I found it that's the only 32-bit I've got. I suppose I could better get my ass into gear. Just making a bit of room. Get some more work done on this while I kill time. Uh, I did get a message. I can't remember what I put up for sale now. Got so much crap. I really could sell some of it. It's actually tempting, very tempting, <laughs> to cancel the updates and just see if I can get Windows 10 put on it. Actually, yeah, fuck it, let's do that, shall we? Meep. And turn it off. There we go. Windows 32, Windows 10 32 bit I should say, right. We'll see if we have any joy. Did it the first time round because uh, it might not work this time. Because I don't think this is for ultimate, although it might, we don't know, we'll see. We'll see. That took a long while for the Windows 7 disk to uh, kick in as well. Ooh. The Windows 10 symbol. Because I don't know if you can upgrade from Ultimate. I can't remember. We're about to find out, aren't we? If it does anything. Oh dear. I've been having a little browse on eBay, but I haven't found anything. Nothing of interest, anyway. Not really. Well, I must get my butt into gear and uh, get some more work done on that bike. I've got one, the other one being picked up at 4.30, so hopefully. Oh dear, right. Can't think of anything to talk about at the moment either. Uh, nope. Oh. Can I get to my charger quick enough? That's the question. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Oof. There we go. Right. Well, suppose I could have a go at least getting the brake done on it. Oh, I've got to go downstairs out of those grip shifts, haven't I? Poop. Poop on a stick. Finding the six speed free wheels not an issue. I can get to those easy. Yeah. Um. seeing if this adjust is any good which it is that's all right then rolled up gear cable here and I can't remember what that one's for 
Might go on there. Or am I going to have to file the bar down? I think I'll have to file the bar down again. End of the handlebars got all scuffed up and bent where the bike's been dropped and whatnot. It's uh, making it an absolute bastard to get grip shifts on. I just wanted to slide that on to see if that cable is going to be long enough. We'll do it with two hands in a bit. <sighs> get this one done. Get this one done, get it gone. That's what I want to do. Put that wheel back in the cupboard out of the way. I've got a wheel behind me somewhere somewhere down there it's leaning up there well I get my hand in the right place and it's the one that I can't find the wheel nuts for because it's a larger axle than that one not much bigger but bigger than the uh, standard sized Right, I'm going to disappear, I'm looks like I breathed all over the lens because it all messed it up. Yeah, right, I'm going to put the camera down, no I'm not, I'm just going to see if this will do something first. <clears throat> Bring my cable as far this way as possible. Okay, that's, you know, that's exactly the same setup as Windows 7. English United Kingdom, English United Kingdom. Let's remember those settings anyway. But is it going to ask me for a fresh install or is it going to upgrade? That is the question. I've got a hole in my boots. Oh dear. Set up a starting. I've already installed all the drivers for the well, the necessary Wi-Fi drivers and whatnot. Didn't like me using the LAN, but the LAN's work it was working anyway. Ah, I don't have product key. It looks like I can put Windows 10 Pro on it, so I'm going to go for that. I could go for Home, but let's go for Pro. In theory. Even this bit is exactly the same as Windows 7. Well, at least... Formatted. Da, 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 da. So far, apart from selecting which Windows 10 to install, it's been exactly the same as Windows 7. I've never installed Windows 8, so I don't know if this is the same. But uh, I suppose why change um, things around when you don't need to? It's a pity they didn't use that kind of thinking when they made Windows 8. Right, well this is working so far, so I'm going to turn the camera down, turn the camera down, turn the camera off, get a front brake installed on this, I hope. I actually think my box of brake blocks is actually behind the laptop, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to get the front brake done on this at least. Run downstairs, get those two grip shifts and try to install the front gears as well. So they're at least done. 
I've got a pile of change somewhere. I took it out of my back pocket because oh. <laughs> um, I can't put it in my front pocket because there's a big hole in it. So I'll end up with lots of change in the top of my boot if I do. Anyway, I'm going to let this camera charge and uh, I'll report back in a few hours or so or if and when I've made progress on that and this, this and that, that and this. Any <laughs> anyway, back later. Okay, so I saw mum this afternoon, so I've got a bit sidetracked, but um, the progress I've made on this, it's got a pair of grip shifts. I've just got to put the cover on that one when I can find it. I've put it down. I've done my usual trick. Put it down, can't find it. Oh, here it is. It's because it was upside down. But, uh, yeah. Click on there. There we go. Um, I've just got to connect the cables up. Front brake is working. I've got to take put a six-speed freewheeler on the back wheel, but... I've got to put tube in the back wheel as well, so I can do that when I get to that. I've just got to go find a tube. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be an outside cover. Find another tyre just to put on that front there. Finish cleaning it up. I may actually clean all that swing arm up while I've got the wheel out. That'll make life a bit easier. And before I've got the cables connected, the gear cables are um, all fitted, just not connected to the dragons. So we're getting there with this one, it's nearly there. I'm sweating. <laughs> um, complete change of plan for road lamps. I'm not going to get that red one today because someone has listed this one. It's actually one of the ones that was in the job lot that uh, I wanted and it turns out apparently it's American, it's a Cortina lamp. Um, flashing photo cell which means it will only work when it gets dark enough. £10 free postage so I'm going to go for that one. If and when that guy gets here at half four, um, I am hoping so. <laughs> that could even be him. Hello. Yep, I'll be right down. That is, I'll be right back. Okay, that was the guy. Bike's gone, lamp bought, bike nearly fixed. <laughs> um, while I was downstairs I decided I might as well just nip to the bank while I was down there and put a tenner in. Uh, then I went round to Wilco's and got a brake cable for this. I was having some teething issues with the uh, front gears but that is it, apart from that. Everything is working fine. I think I may take this down. I'll have one more crack at the front gears up here. I've got to change these, so I'm going to find my wrench that I use for that. Oh, good. A sweat rag. That'll do. Ugh. Right. Big fucking red and black span over oh, there it is, it's laying on that tray, that's what I want. Take these pedals off because they're gonna need replacing. Where's my camera? I'll take that down with me as well. Okay, so you can hear from the pedal. But other than that. Oh, and I've got to pump tyres up as well, that's the other job I've got to do. Um, which I'll use the foot pump for while I'm downstairs. Oh. <laughs> oh.
So, got myself another American lamp. Even harder to get hold of over here than um, the other ones, so that's why I went for that one first. And it was cheaper. Let me check my emails, make sure. Da, 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 da. That's still the same email. <sighs> I had to put ad block on on my Yahoo Mail there because it seems it was the adverts on Yahoo that were um, causing Firefox to freeze. Um, but ever since I've put ad block on, it hasn't done it. I don't even know why I had ad block off to be honest, but never mind. I thought it was on. <laughs> right. It's 20 past 5. I've got a little bit more work to do on this. Pardon me. Uh, I was debating what to get for dinner. I think I'll decide that when I'm downstairs. I'm getting a bit tired of chips from the chippy. And the chips themselves haven't been that brilliant lately. I'm sitting here and I'm still sweating. Well, Windows 10 is on that laptop. But it wants me to use a product key. And I don't know why. I shouldn't have to. Hmm. Taste that cleaning spray in the air. No. Alright, get this one downstairs, I suppose. Wait, do those gears first. Or we'll try to. Yeah, I'll do that first and. Uh, Find something for dinner. Like I said, I've not decided on dinner yet. Could go get some microwave dinners. I've got to have got antacids. <laughs> I was thinking of getting the spaghetti bolognese, but that tends to give me heartburn from hell, so... But I could actually quite eat that. Yeah. I think that's what I'll go get then. Right. Talk to you later. It's done. It's up on. I think he said eBay. Not eBay. Gumtree. <clears throat> and I got it done just before a thunderstorm hit. Thunderstorm, lightning storm, there was a bit of everything out there. So that was good timing. Um. Yeah, so that's done. I'm just checking emails every now and then just to, you know, see if anyone's replied. I better take that other ad down, actually, come to think of it. Still got the one up there for um, the bike I sold today. They ain't no good, is it? Someone did reply for the red and silver one, but uh, I don't know, I thought I'd moved the messages to um, the inbox and they just disappeared. Now I can't find them, so I can't reply. I must have hit something accidentally. Oops. My loss. <laughs> oh dear.
I usually get replies, you know, at really obscure times in the evening, so around about 11 o'clock, 11, 12 o'clock. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just because a lot of people, you know, they've sent their kids to bed and whatnot, so they've got 10 minutes before they go to bed for work or whatever, and they just jump on, see what's available. If I had kids, I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> Shut up. Shh. Shh. Right. That hurt. I'm trying to scratch myself and just bent my fingernail. Oh. That's smart. I might as well have a tidy up. I am rapidly running out of uh, brick blocks. <laughs> Very rapidly running out. going to annoy me for the rest of the evening now until I cut it off. Right. A couple of bits here they can go in the box of parts in here for now. I'll probably forget they're there then get grumpy because I can't find them. Oh yeah, that was me that left that line, that was it. I'm going there. Still no further with this fucking thing. Might get further with it on the bleeding scrap heap. Right. It's cooled off a little bit now, so I'm a little bit more comfortable. Cable is this? Is that gear cable? Brake cable. I'll get that rolled up and put in the thingy. I can't be asked. Bin. <laughs> I need some bikes to break. I'm running out of parts quite rapidly now. Mm. <sighs> and that one. 4P for the change pot. Always handy to have a pot of loose change. Look at this, look. I'm rich! I wish. <sighs> there's a pound and 20 pences. The rest is just, uh, I think there's one 20p in there, the rest is all, uh, the rest of the silvers are all, uh, Five pence pieces. Stick it there for a minute. Put that there. Actually, because it's hurting my ass sitting on that, I'm going to put that there. I've got to put change in my back pocket because, as I said earlier, I've got a bloody hole in the front pocket. I need to, um, doodly do on this CD so I don't forget what it is. I can't even remember where I found that. It was just in the case like that. I think it's when I was sorting out these CDs. That's the Windows 7 32 bit. <coughs> sort of tempted to go and upgrade my other laptop to Windows 10 but uh, yeah, I don't know. I 
come over this way for something. Yeah. I have my red pen down here, but I don't know if it's still going to be any good because it's been sitting here and here without a... Nope. Not teach me to leave the lid off, wouldn't it? I haven't got my red one anymore. I've got a blue one. I should have a black one somewhere as well. Is the black one up here? It is. So I'm just going to scribble on here so I know what it is. And 732 bit. Boot. There we go. And when I get a chance, I'll run that through the other machine. That machine and uh, make a copy of it so I've got a spare one. That bloody white cloth on there is Nemo. I don't actually know where he's disappeared to. That, I can't even whistle. No, nope, still can't whistle. Well, I can, but not loudly. No oh, well. Stupid bells. Yes. Need a keyboard for that one. That's my one that I use. Bite my nail, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, close that. It's gone quiet everywhere now. Some pictures and things to sort out on here. Uh, and that lock can actually be deleted. Right, I don't know if I'm getting hungry or not yet. Oh dear, right. I'm going to disappear for a bit. I might grab something to eat. Sandwich, probably. He's not down there, he's hiding. I bet he's behind the curtain. Or is he up there? No, he's not up there. He's probably behind the curtain in the lounge then. None that. Yeah, I can just I just saw his ears twitch above the uh, CD rack. Right, I'll talk to you in a little while. Okay, I'm getting hungry. And I've got no pants on at the moment. So, no camera down below! I've got boxes on, you know. I'm, I'm covered, but uh, I don't think anyone wants to see my legs. Right. Smells funky, you know. Not funky in a bad way. Funky is in a yummy way. Tops of my socks have got a bit red because uh, I was scratching earlier and scratched the tops off some of them fucking itchy spots. Anyway, I'm going to put some of this shit in a sandwich. What is it? Delhi style coleslaw. Haven't had any coleslaw for a while, so I thought I'd get some. A lot of people are like, "Ew, what it is is vegetables in like a mayonnaise sauce." 
But then again, I suppose if you're not one that likes to eat vegetables, you're not going to like that, are you? <laughs> um, my stepdad, uh, he'll eat veg, but he won't eat what he calls shrubbery. Things like cabbage, lettuce, uh, what sh um, he doesn't actually eat a lot of veg at all. He'll eat runner beans, green beans. Think he he um he will eat peas. Me, I'll eat just about any veg. Um, I'm not too keen on sprouts. I'm not too keen on parsnips or swedes or anything like that. But. <laughs> I had some um, Chinese chicken thighs earlier, so every time I burp, I taste Chinese chicken thighs. <laughs> they taste so good, but that's one of them foods where you get the aftertaste for hours on end afterwards. Oh. No replies to my knowledge. I haven't checked for the past hour, but no replies to that. Red and silver, that's chips, that's what I could spell, because I've put leftover chips from last night in the bin. Still smells nice. I ain't friggin' eating them though. <laughs> Ill. Oh. Damn it. Right. Butter, coleslaw, itch. Bread, tin of beans, empty tin of beans. I forgot to uh, soak. Oh. Uh -oh. I thought I'd cut the end of my finger. I probably, well, I likely ain't the only one that does this, but. I'll often cut myself and, uh, are you fucking kidding me? And, uh, I just won't realise that whatever them bumps are, I've got them all over my arm. I don't know if it's going to come up. Let's get in the light a bit. There's one somewhere. Yeah, right there. I've got two there, and I'll just keep coming up in them, and I just itch like hell. My mum's got them as well. And I got one right at the bottom of my back there. <sighs> and because I've scratched, you know, I've scratched the tops off, my legs then get sore. And uh, as soon as I jump in a bath, not only do my legs sting like fucking hell because of the sores, it irritates whatever those spots are and my psoriasis, so I itch like fucking hell as well. So yeah, bath times, not fun times. I'm actually considering having a shower until further notice. That might be a little easier on my legs. Um, I've been looking into Windows 10 a bit more. That's what I've been doing this evening. Um, because apparently, if you do a fresh install of Windows 10, you can use Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1 product keys. Now, I've got a laptop down here with one on, but it wouldn't let me activate the Windows I've put on this advent here because that's got Windows 10 Pro and the product key is from a Windows 7 Home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go... I did try it on the laptop, but it was taking too bloody long, so I turned it off. I'm going to turn the other PC on, not tonight, probably tomorrow. And I'm going to go to the Microsoft website, and I'm going to download Windows 10 Home and make a Home CD. So that way, in theory, may try it on this laptop first. I may actually experiment with mine in the bedroom because it's a slow-ass piece of shit anyway. Um, 
in theory you should be able to do a fresh install. I can't upgrade it because it's Windows 7 Enterprise. Um, so it won't automatically upgrade. But uh, if I could get it working on Windows 10, it should be relatively okay on that laptop. But it depends if it will accept this product, Kino. I know my brother has got a laptop as well. I think his spare one will have a uh, Windows 7 product key. Actually, I think my stepdad's will as well. I may turn those upside down and uh, half inch them. Because my stepdad upgraded his to Windows 10. So, it might let me use it, it might not. Because apparently what it does, when you automatically update your Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 to Windows 10, it uses that previous product key to activate. So, um, but of course, if you're doing it as a fresh install, you'll need the product key. Now, you could go on the Microsoft website and probably buy one. Um, if I was reinstalling Windows 10 on my main PC, I wouldn't need the product key because that machine is already digitally signed to um, a copy of Windows 10. So it will just, or should in theory, just reinstall using the system's, um, previous system's um, product key. Or something like that. So I was reading earlier. So uh, yeah, I think I'll get there eventually. Making up some uh, Windows 10 machines, hopefully. I might as well. I'm getting tired. I just got all that stuff out to make something to eat, and I'm actually still not actually sure if I'm hungry. Um, actually, while I'm sitting here, I'm just going to bring up Yahoo. There we go. One mail in spam. What is it? Not a gum tree reply. Just reading an email from someone. He's a retained firefighter, he's into Lego as well. And uh, we just sort of email each other back and forth with ideas and whatnot. It's easier than leaving comments on YouTube. Oh, oh it drives me up the wall. Itch, itch, itch. Every summer I get like this. I know the weather hasn't been super hot yet, but still, as soon as the weather starts to heat up, I just start fucking itching and it drives me up the wall. Till autumn, when it starts cooling down, then I won't itch as much. Although I think I might have to concede defeat and go and see a doctor at some point, because that psoriasis is spreading at a rate of knots. <laughs> <sighs> Oops, cat scratches on my arm as well. I was playing with Nemo last night and he caught my arm. Oopsie! Actually, I don't even know where he's gone. I haven't seen him. Right. I can't go too far this week because I don't know when my Hermes is going to turn up with a bloody parcel. Between now and uh, usually the next seven days. Although it's 
the tracking says it's in transit. So what I can do, usually, it shouldn't take that long because their main depot is in Norwich, so... I should think from the Norwich office that would go to the Norwich depot. Then back out with a uh, local carrier, because the carriers with my Hermes are um, they're self-employed. Um, I'm not sure how that works. I presume my Hermes contracts the person. Not as an employee, but you know, as a contractor. So that's why you don't get someone from my Hermes turn up in a uniform, you get them in normal everyday clothes. And they turn up in a normal everyday car, or a van, or whatever it is they're using. <laughs> um, not the best. But I wouldn't say they're the worst either. Well, that's still up, that's right at the top now. That 20 quid lap. So many lamps I want. Always oh, drop the photo cell one as well. Not the photo cell one, the solar cell. So far in the past two weeks I've bought five more lamps. I only want to go out and buy one. I've bought five so far and I'm watching one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want all six. There's one here if it's still for sale when I next have some cash I'll hit the buy it now. If they sell they sell there isn't a lot I can do about it. Problem is, you know, when I sell a bike, I've sort of got a balance between buying something for myself and buying groceries and things. He's only knocked the um, solar cell lamp down to down two pounds, so it's gone from twenty-five pounds down to twenty-three. Make it twenty, and I'll buy it. He, if I actually message him that offer, he might. Um, I'm just going to keep watching them because it's not this week I get paid, it's next week. It comes around so quick. Although I've got to pay my phone bill. I'll keep actually looking around to see if there's anything else I can sell. Well, to be honest, if I could... Uh, master this Windows 10 lark, I could uh, I could probably sell this advent over here as a working laptop. It's just uh, getting it activated. I'm actually glad I got that American style lamp. Like I said, the only place I could get them from is America. I have looked on American eBay for an um, under barricade lamp, as that's what they're commonly called over there. And uh, I can pick them up for the same sort of price as I pick up the lamps here, you know, the British versions, but. Uh, Postage stings you. That's the bit that I would have to pay an arm and a leg for. So it's kind of ow. <laughs> I think one lamp I was watching it was um, like 30, 40 pounds for postage. And the lamp was only like 10. Yeah, I don't quite want them that much. But this is the second American one I've actually um, come across. 
Oh, that red lensed American one I got in the bedroom. I got that from that base wallet seller. I think that was the last lamp I bought from him, her, them. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> um, before the last two. I got some feedback to leave from one of them lumps. Oy, oy, oy. I'm going to have to clear a shelf in the bedroom to get some of these lamps stacked on. Because <laughs> I'm running out of room. I've got three stacked over on a Lego table because I've got nowhere to put them in the bedroom at the minute. But uh, as I'm not doing a lot with the shelf above where my um, Sega Master System and whatnot is, I might start stacking a few on there. I actually don't know why I've got that stupid little fan behind me going, where is it? I could barely feel anything off of it. I think it cost me like 4 99 out of QDs. <laughs> Something daft. Anyway, I'm going to shut this down and... Uh... Oh, well, that was it. Someone put a post on the um, Chroma Town Facebook group. Um, basically complaining about the number of people that moan about various things in the town. Um... Moaning is annoying. Uh, but, if we didn't moan, especially about the lack of grass cutting we're getting across Norfolk at the minute, we'll pay our council tax for the highways department to cut the grass on public areas and they fucking haven't. But, uh, yeah. If, pe if the public like us don't moan, either on a a public group like that, or even my local town council group about things in town, it's not going to raise awareness and the councils are just going to think there is not a problem. No one's moaning, there's not a problem, kind of thing. <laughs> so, uh, moaning can be a good thing. It can be annoying, granted, but it can also be a good thing. But uh, to be honest, between the Cromer Town Group and the Regenerate North Walsham Group, which is basically the North Walsham Town Group, there's no difference. The same problems, same kind of issues, the same kind of complaints. It's weird. And there were two different towns. It's just strange. Oh well. I actually find with the North Norfolk District Council you have to jump up and down from a great height and put on your parts like a little child to get them to do anything, otherwise they wouldn't do anything. I mean, they won't even cut the fucking grass outside their own building. And their excuse is, we are um, encouraging wildflowers. And I turned around and said to Mum today, I said, yeah, but if someone, like, if I had a garden and I decided to let my garden grow, I'd get it in the neck from either neighbours complaining to the council, because my garden is untidy and messy and then I saw, and I'm just wondering if I would actually, you know, get away with um, the, uh, I'm encouraging wildflowers and wildlife, <laughs> their own excuse. You know, I'll never have anything nice to say about North Norfolk District Council. Because I got a letter this morning. They've overpaid me some housing benefits, and they're now going to take that back by deducting it from the current housing benefit. Which means I'm going to have to uh, make that shortfall. And there ain't no way I can do that at the minute. And uh, I'll just pop. Something on my leg. Another scab, probably. So, uh, 
just makes me laugh, you know. Victory always automatically notifies an NDC when the rent changes. So they can adjust the rent accordingly. But somehow, through no fault of my own, they've overpaid me. And because they fucked up and overpaid me, I'm now facing the consequences financially because of their fuck up. And yet, they can't afford to get the grass cut. So, it makes you wonder why the hell we pay our taxes in the first place. Yeah, lots of taxes. Council tax, tax to the government if you're working. Yep, I may not, I may be claiming um, welfare, but I still got to pay tax. Um, not to the government, but because that'd be a bit daft, really, wouldn't it? They're giving me the bloody money in the first place. <laughs> um, but local tax, council tax, you got to pay. So over here you do get ho help, rather, with a certain amount of your council tax, but you still have to make up the rest. Gets complicated. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's sort of like, you know, they give me the extra 40 quid a fortnight with one hand and then take it away because they're now giving me and taking back for a friggin' overpayment. That's not my fault. It's not even my fault I got in rent arrears in the first place either. But I've still got to fix it. That's what I hate about the system. Places like the council, they can make a fuck up their fault, but uh, it's us the recipients that have got to fix it or suffer while they fix it <laughs> what can you do though unless I went on something stupid like hunger strike or something there isn't... actually I don't think that would actually have much of an effect either oh well I'm going to turn the camera off before I rattle on too much I've probably rattled on too much anyway now I don't see the timer when I've got the camera poked at, poked at me, pointed at me rather. I can't talk tonight. I've decided I am a little bit peckish. I've got a little bit of anxiety as well for some reason. Random. Anyway. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to get some... I'll try that again. I'm going to get something to eat. Drink. I do believe I took my pill this evening. I'll check the tray because I'll know. If there's an odd number of pills in the tray, then I haven't taken it because I should be an even number left because I have to take two a day. One in the morning, one in the evening. What are going in the fridge for? Got everything out. Right. You're distracting me. I'm going to go and get something to eat. Thanks for watching. For those that do watch, and I don't think it's that... I don't think... Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't think many of my hundred subscribers now actually watch my videos. I don't know. I haven't looked at my stats. I never bother. Perhaps I should. <laughs> anyway. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.